Hi, this is Aaron Reed. I'm a principal systems engineer at Verge IO. And um, this has probably been on the back burner for a while, but basically in this demo, I'm gonna show how we can migrate multiple VMs from a VMware environment into the Verge OS um, hypervisor stack. So the first thing we'll start with is logging in into the Verge OS. And then once I'm logged in, this brings you to the default UI dashboard. So what we have that's kind of special in, in the Verge OS is we have a built-in import and backup solution for VMware. And that runs as a service in our environment. And here you can see it says VMware here. And if I click on that square, it brings me to two of my VM import or backup jobs that I've already created. Here you can see we can support both vCenter and ESXi. And I have vCenter running in my environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that vCenter import job. And when I go to click in here, it brings me to my dashboard for this, where you can see we've discovered 20 virtual machines in VMware. Over here, you can see a panel that shows me about my VMware environment. So here you can see my official build. You can see it's 6.7.0. And over here, you can see the ports that I need to open, port 443 and 902 to connect into my vCenter. Once you log into vCenter, it'll discover all the VMs these 20 virtual machines here, if I click in there, and there you can see the 20 VMs that are in vCenter. If I want to go back into that job, I simply click up here and my title bar brings me back to that job. Now, if I really want to import a bunch of VMs into my Verge OS, I can come here to my backup jobs that I've already created, click on these backup jobs. I'll click on this latest backup job here, where you can see I have 12 VMs that I'm backing up. Go ahead and double click on that guy. Now in here, you can see my 12 VMs that I have as part of this backup job. And now if I really want to import multiple VMs all at once, I can come over here and I can say import VMs. It gives me the, a list of the VMs that I can import from this backup job. The great thing about this is these VMs are already living in the Verge OS environment as a backup. So the import process will only take a few minutes to import multiple VMs. So what I'll do is I'll unclick the vCenter, my DNS server, and we'll leave the rest of these guys in here. So that's a total of 10 VMs. Another cool thing about the import job is I can preserve the MAC address. So if I have any type of application licensing or a DHCP reservation tied to those for any reason on my VM workloads, I could do that. And then I can determine which tier I wanna put it on in my environment. And I know I have a, three, a tier three, so I'll, I'll check that. And then I simply click submit. Once I click submit, it brings me to the importing dashboard where you can see it's importing. And you can see child jobs, 10 over 10, completed all green and all my VMs already imported. That's 10 VMs, six Windows VMs, Windows 2019 VMs, and four Ubuntu VMs within under 10 seconds. Now, if I wanna go look at those VMs, I come over here to my title bar, which brings me back to my homepage. Now I can click on my button at the top that brings me to my virtual machines environment, click on there again. And if I scroll down, you'll see some of the Ubuntu servers that I imported in. And if I go down a little further, you'll see those Windows 19 VMs that I imported in. And if I want a more specific list, I can also sort and filter up here on the top of that column where I can see those different VMs. Now all I do is I go into that VM, it brings me to that VM dashboard and I can start it up from here. I'm gonna go ahead and click start. One of the cool things we have built in is a safety feature that allows you to take a snapshot of that VM before you import it. So I'll go ahead and just leave that on. That way if I need to roll it back, I can. Um, it's starting up, I'll go back to that top console and the left hand button there, it'll bring me into my VNC console. And as this is booting up, you'll see it starts to boot up. I have my console dashboard up here where I can do things like I can pass text in if I wanna do any scripting that I wanna pass in or keys or passwords. I can even hide it if I'm sharing my screen and if I wanna pass in information that way. I have my power reset button. I have a reset, an ACPI reset and a kill. I have a control delete. I also have my windows button here. And here you can see that windows VM is coming up. Another thing I'd like to show is I'll go ahead and pop back out of the console there. And here you can see we automatically converted the, dot, the VMDK to a .raw format, so you didn't have to do anything there. And then here you can see we automatically assigned it its network that it needed to, to uh, con get connected. I'll go back into the console, and there you can see the VMs booted up. And that's it. Within just a couple of minutes, I was able to demonstrate how easy it is to import VMs from a VMware environment into the Verge OS within a matter of seconds. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye.